In the past 20 years, there's been an unhealthy trend with kids. It's called the Nature Deficit Disorder, and it basically means more kids are moving indoors. Joining us now to talk about that and the importance of connecting to nature is local pediatrician, Dr. Teresa Wee. Good morning. Welcome back, doctor. Good morning, Christine. Talk about this new movement. Very interesting. It's called Leave No Child Inside. Yes, yes. So because of new technology, what's happening is the average U.S. child is spending 30 minutes out in nature and maybe about seven hours indoors. Wow. And so that is, is a very bad trend. A very big imbalance. Yes. Okay. So what are the benefits of exposure to the outdoors? Because there's so many to talk about. There really is. Um, there's so many benefits. You get vitamin D levels go up for strong bones. You also can explore. I mean, nature is a giant lab, and it's so important for the kids to, you know, de-stress, have less anxiety as they go out and play, make their own rules. Um, they, they concentrate better when they get into school. They have better nighttime sleep, better interactions. Just overall, it's, it's positive. And that also goes for adults as well. Because people might think, mm. oh, the kids are just playing outside. But it's so much more than that, because as you mentioned, it can help socially, it can yes. help your relationships, mentally, everything, in every way for kids. It, it really does. And, and then they're always playing with the kids at the park. Mm -hmm. And so when they connect, they're, they're observing insects, um, they look at plants, and they feel connected to nature. And as they grow older, they will respect nature and try to take care of it. And of course, we live in the perfect place to do all this, right? Year round, we have the most beautiful weather in the whole world. And what I like too is that we have such a beautiful weather that you can do almost anything outdoors and kind of mask it so kids don't think, oh, I don't want to exercise. Right. You can do all types of activities. Really, you know, again, that's what I was saying is just observing nature, taking pictures, doing videos, you know, build a tree house and observe birds. Um, uh, just so many things like hiking. I mean, you know, just, just doing family activities together mm -hmm. and, and planting a vegetable or herb garden. That counts as good. an activity outdoors. It's outdoors. Now, it also improves health because you say that playing in dirt is actually good for your keiki. Yeah, you know, when you have an ultra-clean environment, it's called the hygiene theory, and so a lot of boys and girls are not exposed to that. But when you play in dirt, you're exposed to a lot of healthy bacteria and viruses. Mm -hmm. and, and just putting your hands in the dirt and, and being connected to, to the soil and to the plants around you is really good therapy for everyone. So the kids who are watching next time they get their hands dirty, they get scolded, they're going to say, Dr. Wee said that I should do this. Okay, now, you're of course not saying we should only be outdoors and we can't watch TV and we can't be on the iPad, but you're saying it's more about balance. It, it really is. It's balance, balancing screen time and green time. And so what you want to do is, you, like I said, you can take your phone out, you can take pictures of the ocean and the sea animals that you found and... Just, you know, taking things, doing family activities mm -hmm. together outdoors and creating those memories. And, and that's what the kids are going to remember. But while you're doing that, the whole family is unplugging and recharging. That's a good thing to do. Yes. Now, there's a good way to do that on Saturdays. Every Saturday, walk with a doc. I'm there every Saturday from 8 to 9 a.m., at Central Oahu Regional Park near the tennis courts, rain or shine. So I would love for everyone to get vitamin G, <laughs> vitamin green, and come out with me. Um, that's my grandson there I'm holding hands Aww. with. And we also have Walk with a Future Doc. Mm -hmm. So make sure to, it's every fourth Sunday from 9 to 10 a.m. at Kaka'ako uh, waterfront park and then in October there's something new coming on yeah in October and I'll remind you next month but we have dance with a dock and so it'll be every second Saturday from 5 to 6 p.m. at Potadu dance studio in Waipio Gentry because there are so many ways you can get healthy right right all right thank you so much Dr. Wee for being here thank you have a good weekend thank you.